Hello everyone, welcome to Literature Warriors. Today I would be discussing one of the questions from 2016 Oliver Literature paper, the appreciation of English literary texts. So the specialty is I would be describing, I would be discussing this question with relevance to the marking scheme of 2016, the appreciation of English literary texts. Well, uh, so I would be discussing one of the essay type questions today and uh, so I would be telling you how to write an answer uh, with relevance to the marking scheme and uh, introducing and uh, explaining the guidelines given in the marking scheme as well. So before going to the question, I want to extract some facts in the marking scheme with relevant to the essay type questions. So first thing you have to know is you have two sections, two parts in your paper. So here uh, this has been taken from the marking scheme itself. The breakdown of the marks under the criteria given below should be clearly indicated under each answer. So uh, you will be getting marks the total marks is 100 mark is 100 and there are two parts in your paper pa part one and part two in part one there are two sections section a and b in section one you are getting uh, context questions six context questions and uh, for that you will be getting 30 marks and in section B, in the same part, part 1, you will be getting 10 marks that is from one of the uh, texts from uh, novels, that means the selected novel, uh, there's a context question from the selected novel, that for that you are getting 10 marks and altogether for part 1 you are getting 40 marks and in pa part 2 of your paper there may be there are four essay type questions one from poetry one from prose one from drama and the other one from fiction from the selected novel so for that for the part 2 you are getting 60 marks so the total will be counted like that well then there is uh, this part also extracted from the marking scheme itself uh, it may not be so clear for you so i would read it the criteria for marking long answers so in marking the long answers the following criteria must be used and weightage given to them in the following manner so when you are writing when you have answered uh, essay type answer essay type question you are getting marks out of content organizing and language so content for one to seven marks organizing one to four marks language for one to four marks so there uh, the maximum mark for the content is seven so if you have relevant content in your answer you will be getting marks higher marks for that and organizing your now you should you should know the context of the text first because uh, now if you're writing an answer for a uh, for a essay type answer from poetry the first thing is you should know the poem very well uh, the quotations and also you should know the story in brief of the poem and you should be very familiar with the context of the poem so then only you can grab the important things from the context and so content marks will be given um, marks you can easily achieve the marks for the content if you know the poem or the prose whatever it is very well with a good understanding then now when you know the facts you should have a proper organizing of your facts first thing is you have to select the facts very keenly and then you have to organize them and your language should be perfect when you are writing answers in 
appreciation for english literary text because this is not just english language you should appreciate the context an english context using english language so your language should be perfect it should be error free and you ha you have to use some of uh, the expressions some beautiful expressions from language the poetic expressions and uh, rich language should be there then only you can get more marks for that category so and there sh there are some other things given as descriptors a facts from text so as i told you you should be given marks for context when you select the relevant fact from the context uh, because you have to write an answer according to the question now you know the whole poem or the prose but to write the answer you should grab you should select only the relevant fact in that text and prioritizing the con facts that is also you are getting marks for content because you know there should be given priority for this for some of the facts uh, in your selected text the poem or the prose because you can't write everything there for the answer if you write like that you will be not getting marks for that because that should be relevant so the priority should be given for the facts with reference to the question you should address the question directly with your facts selected facts and presenting context in favor of question so that means you have to present the selected context as i told you directly addressing the questions you should not write unnecessary details that should be clear to you clear to the examiners uh, the paper markers that you have addressed the question using these facts and the critical evaluation of facts there you should always um, refer to the question and critically analyze why you have selected these facts to support your answer you should always consider that and the personal views response stimulated by context so when you are writing things writing uh, you when you are taking examples from the context you can also add your personal views personal examples maybe life experiences that may be that may be some added uh, quality to your answer so you can add your personal views like telling in my point of view i suppose like that you can write your personal views in your answer as well then your creativity students creativity is highly admired in the essay type questions because you know now appreciation of literary text or simply you call it english literature this subject is one of the subjects of aesthetic subjects so here not only your cognitive level is measured your affective domain is highly addressed here what do you mean by affective domain you may know you may don't know about it affective domain means you should blow up your mind you should critically think of something you should admire enjoy the text that's what you are doing with the aesthetic subject so this is one of the aesthetic subjects and your creativity in writing is highly admired there well so then let me go to the question i have selected it is the essay type question question number 5 johnson agas the clown's wife represents the difference between personal and professional lives of many people do you agree justify your answer well i think uh, it will be quite easy for me to describe this question 
and discuss it with you because I have already done an explanation and an analysis from this poem The Clown's Wife by John Zanaga. So if you have not watched it, uh, you can have a look upon this analysis uh, done by me and then you can answer this question. So, well, so you know this statement you have to be agree or disagree. The statement is John Zanagas, the clown's wife, represents the difference between personal and professional lives of many people. Exactly it is. So this fact, this statement can be agreeable. So you have to justify your answer with the relevant facts after agreeing with the text, agreeing with this statement. So I have just mentioned how to uh, write the long answer for this so here this is how you have to start the answer so first there should be an introduction and remember when you're writing the introduction just limit your introduction to three to five lines don't do not write so many details and unnecessary things about the poet because it's more important to address the question so just write just limit your uh, introduction to three to five lines and at the end of your introduction paragraph after these three four lines now this question is asked do you agree so you have to say whether you agree it or no not so here in the at the end of the introduction passage you can write like this it is agreeable that john zanagas clown's wife represents the difference between personal and professional lives of many people or you can write it in another way you can you can uh, tell that you agree with it like using these phrases i would agree with the fact that or i would justify my well like right so you can first agree with the statement right so this is you know this is agreeable uh, because the clown's character has been uh, really uh, it is really uh, referring to the society as well because we see such characters in real life as well so after agreeing with the statement in the same paragraph the introductory paragraph as the final line you can write now you are agreeing with the text and now you are going to elaborate your answer with uh, the using the character and you have to justify you have to tell now i'm agreeing with this and i am going to do this to justify this so you can write like this for that i would justify my opinion analyzing the character of the clown so you are writing your introduction with three lines then you are agreeing with the fact and then you are telling now i have agreed and i'm going to do this to justify my agreement so you can use like these phrases now i have given you some two examples how can you justify that i would justify my opinion analyzing the character of the clown i would elaborate my agreement using the character of the clown you can use uh, one of them or you can use your own way if you have more beautiful words than this you can use them but the it is better you can say this in the introductory paragraph what you are going to do in the rest of the answer i think it's clear for you then you can start your first paragraph telling firstly so you know now to justify this answer actually we have to use clown's character right or you can also use the uh, if you want you can use the clowns the character of clown's wife as well so if you are using both characters you can write both the character of the clown and the character of the clown's wife right it's your choice 
and in the second paragraph you can write secondly and you can use the other paragraphs you can write the other paragraphs using adding more information you can use the phrases like this furthermore moreover in fact in addition for the other paragraphs you can elaborate your answer you can develop your answer using these phrases well so after elaborating the answer well you can uh, you have to write the conclusion so you can start writing the concluding paragraph using in conclusion finally to conclude therefore to summarize in brief all in all this one of these phrases you can use in your concluding paragraph well so this is how to develop your answer from the beginning to the end and i think it's clear for you so if you have any doubts you can comment and and then i would go to the guidelines or the facts given in the marking scheme of 2016 with relevance to this question well the first thing is identify the differences between his life as a clown and his life as a husband so you know now in this question you have to address how how the the, the how there are changes in one's life because each and every individual plays different roles in the society so similarly in clown's life you can see how the clown plays two different roles in his professional life as well as in his personal life so for that you have to identify the differences in his uh, life as a crown that is his profession and life is of as his husband as a husband so that you should address and you should write supporting the fact then image of the clown as an entertainer shows his professional life so this is how you can say up there is a king on a throne but at home you should hear him mourn you can remember that so using those those two lines quoting those two lines from the poem you can clearly contrast the life of the clown the professional life of the clown and the personal life of the crown how miserable his personal life and how cheerful uh, his professional life is to the other people to the audience then the next point is the miserable life of the clown at home he seems to have the world on his shoulder as i t told you uh, you should elaborate your answer giving the uh, pathetic condition of clown's life through the words through the exact words from the poem so there you have to quote these lines this is what given in the marking scheme right well the next point is the feelings of the wife of the clown show the difference between professional and personal life of the clown here now you as in the marking scheme you can use both clown's character as well as the clown's wife the character of clown's wife to support this answer so you can see here not only the clown's character here the clown's wife the character of clown's wife is also significant as it shows how he how she tries to cheer this poor soul so the line is uh, another line is quoted here i do my best to to cheer him up poor soul so with the phrase poor soul also you can justify your answer how miserable his character in reality so but in his his appearance is his professional life reality is his miserable life his personal life but moving on to the other point metaphor king shows how he acts on stage in his personal life 
the moment the clown walks through the door of his house he, he is a different person so you can see using the metaphor king king on a throne the right the, the poet also describes how people see him when he is doing his profession because in his professional life he is successful because the audience admires him uh, for the audience he is a um, great assist uh, and uh, he is a valuable person extraordinary person for the uh, audience so in his professional life we, it seems to be his uh, he's uh, he's contented and he's successful but his personal life is a great failure so you can can compare and contrast the two situations and justify your answer then the last point given in the marking scheme is relate the incident in the poem to other people in the society such as public figures and even the ordinary people performing different roles in life so this you can give with your own opinions and you can use some of the uh, well known people uh, to support this fact because this is where you have to write your personal opinions right so where you can take examples from the society maybe a doctor maybe a very famous figure an actress or an actor how he or how he or she lives his life with his profession with his or her profession and with his or her personal life so you can compare now taking a politician as an example you can uh, say that uh, a politician is one of the outstanding people in the society and uh, people admire them sometimes blame them and different things happen but we see them as uh, they are spending very luxurious lives but you can give the examples we don't know whether their personal life uh, is same as we see so like that you can take some of the examples from real life real life situations to support your answer so this is how you have to develop the answer and these are the guidelines given in the marking scheme so you have to include all those things uh, i think the best way is to compare and contrast uh, the clown's life sorry not to compare to contrast the the clown's life when he is doing his profession as a clown and when he is acting the role of the husband so that is enough to uh, elaborate your answer so you have to organize from um, the beginning how you have to write the answer and then you have to include all the relevant facts in the answer well so uh, this is how you can uh, write answers for essay type questions and as i have mentioned you at the beginning how can you how to develop the answer so when there is a question like do you agree you can you have to first say whether you agree with it or not and then how you are going to elaborate the facts well so this is the end of my presentation about the essay type question i have chosen from the uh, past paper of 2016 so i would be coming up with some other questions uh, and some other context questions as well referring to the marking scheme so if you have any doubts you can mention it in your in the comments under this video and you can contact me also so thank you everyone for watching